OSCE stands for Objective Structured Clinical Examination and is a hands-on evaluation method used in medical education to assess students' clinical skills. In this OSCE, students will learn how to take five vital signs, temperature, pulse rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and oxygen saturation. Communication with the patient. Before taking the vital signs, it is important to establish a good relationship with the patient. This involves introducing yourself, explaining the purpose of the examination, and obtaining informed consent. 1. Introduce yourself by name and profession for example, my name is Lloyd and I am the nurse on duty today. 2. Explain the purpose of the examination in simple terms, e.g., I'm going to check your temperature, pulse, breathing, blood pressure, and oxygen levels to make sure you're okay. 3. Obtain informed consent by asking the patient if they are willing to participate in the examination and if they have any concerns. 4. Assure the patient that the examination is not painful and will only take a few minutes. Temperature. The temperature of a patient can be taken orally, axillary, under the arm, or rectally, depending on the patient's age, medical history, and reason for the examination. 1. Explain to the patient that you are going to take their temperature and how you will be taking it. 2. Clean the thermometer with alcohol or soap and water, depending on the type of thermometer being used. 3. Hold the laser thermometer facing the patient's forehead and pull the trigger, and hear the beep. 4. Record the temperature reading in the patient's chart. Pulse rate. The pulse rate can be taken at several locations on the body, including the radial, brachial, femoral, and pedal arteries. 1. Explain to the patient that you are going to take their pulse and where you will be taking it from. 2. Place your index and middle fingers on the chosen pulse location and press gently to feel the pulse. 3. Count the number of beats up to 60 seconds to obtain the pulse rate in beats per minute. 4. Record the pulse rate in the patient's chart. Respiratory rate. The respiratory rate is the number of breaths a person takes per minute. 1. Explain to the patient that you are going to count their breaths. 2. Observe the rise and fall of the patient's chest or abdomen for one minute. 3. Count the number of breaths the patient takes in one minute. 4. Record the respiratory rate in the patient's chart. Blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force of blood against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps. 1. Explain to the patient that you are going to take their blood pressure and how you will be doing it. 2. Place the blood pressure cuff around the patient's arm and inflate it until the pressure is higher than the patient's systolic blood pressure. 5. Record the systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings in the patient's chart. Oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation is the measurement of the amount of oxygen in the patient's bloodstream. 1. Explain to the patient that you are going to measure their oxygen levels. 2. Place the oxygen saturation probe on the patient's finger and wait for the reading to stabilize. 3. Record the oxygen saturation reading in the patient's chart. 